go. Hey guys, so we're going to do another clutch cutting. Uh, this clutch is another Who's Your Daddy clutch. Um, the first male to breed this orange dream pet pied female was a killer highway pied. Then he didn't want to breed her again, so I ended up with a, uh, a mahogany yellow belly het pied male in there. Um, and then I ended up with the orange dream pied male in there. Then I ended up going back to the killer highway pied, and he did lock with her a couple more times. So um, I had one pip. I had one one uh, snake pip out already, had its head out, and it's definitely not sired by the killer highway pied. So it looks like it may be a mahogany het pied, from what I could see. So. Not exactly sure if this is a mahogany or if this is a normal. Yeah, it could be just a nice normal. Maybe mahogany, I'm not sure. We'll see when it's out. Pied. It looks like it might be a pied. It's something orange anyways. Huh. Okay. I don't know if it's a pied. If it's a pied, it's a really low white pied. I don't know. That looks like it could be just a super orange dream. I believe we have a super orange dream het pied here, so that would mean that the orange dream. So that the other that first one might be a normal. Maybe the orange dream pied sired this clutch because this is definitely a super orange dream. It's very nice. So that's a super orange dream het pied for sure. All right, well. It is also a possibility that this could be a dual sired clutch. Uh, it'd be pretty crazy if it was a uh, if all three of the fathers sired it. That'd be that'd be nuts. Uh, <clears throat> it could be potentially a problem as well. Uh, anything with pastel would obviously be the killer highway pied. Uh, would be dad. Um, that super orange stream is obviously. Obviously, the orange dream pied is the dad for that. But if I found something with mahogany in here, and it was a hat, then it would be only a 66% hat. <coughs> so this looks like it's orange dream. Oh. So far, we are doing really crappy on the odds on pieds. This looks like it is just an orange dream pet pied, so. Um, so I am leaning towards that first one is probably a normal. Looks like I have a normal, an orange dream, and a super orange dream pet pied. And we have five eggs left to go. So it'd be nice if we can get some pieds in here, huh? Super orange stream is really nice looking. Yeah, it looks like we got a pied in this one. Alright. What color pied is this? Is it going to be an orange stream pied? So, it is looking like, could potentially be an orange dream pie. 
Yep, I think we have an orange stream pied in here. You see that orange color? That is an orange stream pied. Alright, well. I know that the orange stream pied male only only locked one time with this girl. The killer highway pied locked um, once in the beginning and the two last locks and the uh, mahogany yellow belly het pied male locked her once. Pretty interesting because so far uh, over my five years of breeding uh, it's usually the first male like I, I've had a male lock one time on more than one occasion and then have the next male lock four, five, six times even and still end up with the first male siring the clutch so I was actually really hoping that that was going to happen with this one because I wanted the pastel graveler yellow belly orange dream pied <clears throat> but obviously that's not my luck here but I will still take orange dream pieds and super orange dream hat pie that's nice so here we have it looks like I might have I can't tell if that's a oh oh wait oh okay I can't tell I, it looks like it's a hat but I thought I might have saw some white in there I guess I was wrong yeah, we got a het here. This one looks interesting. This thing looks interesting. Look at the sides on that. Looks really nice. Well, I don't know. I guess it could just be a really, really nice normal. These guys are already ready to start coming out of the egg real soon here. I'm going to have, uh, I should probably have heads poking out of all these eggs tomorrow. Ooh, I can feel the snake right here pushing on the egg. So, so we got... <laughs> Four hats and one visual so far out of eight eggs. So come on, we need all three of these to be visual pieds to hit the hit the odds. Come on, baby. Come on, this is looking like another hat, man. Wow, this is we are getting murder on the odds on this clutch. It's another interesting looking baby. It looks like it's an orange dream. That looks like another orange dream hat pied. Oh man, we are getting murdered on the odds on this clutch. Come on, these are the last two. This is a small one. Let's get a little pied in here. This is just a hat filled clutch. That is another hat. Uh, that looks like. I don't know. I don't know. We might have a dual sired clutch. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm going to have to tell when they, uh, when they come out, but. This looks. I mean, this looks like it could be a mahogany. We may have a dual sired clutch, and if that is a mahogany, then it's kind of a downer because that means so far I can guarantee that the Super Orange Dream is 100% het because the Orange Dream father is a visual. That's a visual, but that means if this is mahogany, if either of these are mahogany, that means that 
each one of these hats, including these orange dreams, I can't say that they're 100% hats. I could only say that they're 66% hats because I won't know for sure if the orange dream pied father is the sire of those babies. I can only say for sure that he is the sire of this baby. So, this is the last egg. Let's hope we get a pied. Um, now, if those are mahoganies and this is a dual sired clutch, that would also help explain why uh, our odds are very low on pieds too. The last time I did the het to het with him to my other orange dream het female, I ended up with six eggs and three were visual pieds and those pieds were packed with all the good genes. I had a, a male and a female, oh we got a pied, sweet. I had a male and a female uh, orange dream yellow belly pied and then I ended up with a female uh, mahogany yellow belly possible orange dream pied. I kept all those and I ended up with uh, nice orange dream hats too. So this looks like another orange dream pied, but is it a super orange dream pied or mahogany? Uh, I can say it's not dark enough to, to be mahogany and it's not bright enough to be yellow belly either so it doesn't seem to be an orange dream yellow belly it looks like it looks like it's just orange dream but I can't see enough to know if there's a possibility of it being super orange dream so uh, we'll have to see when it comes out but I don't know there's a good orange on this one this one has a potential to be a super orange dream pied. <clears throat> so all in all, I can't really complain too much. I mean, it would have been nice to have if uh, the Killer Highway Pied sired the clutch, then everything that's not a visual pied would be at least, at least pastel gravel or yellow belly het pied. So having pastel gravel or yellow belly orange dream het pieds and pastel gravel or yellow belly orange dream pieds would be awesome. That's what I was going for. But it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I have one more pied clutch. Uh, the female still hasn't ovulated, but she's right there. She should ovulate any day now. Um, and she is a orange dream leopard het pied, and she was bred three times by the orange dream pied male and then she her last lock was with uh, the killer highway pied so um, that male is just picky for me so sometimes he wants to do it sometimes he doesn't but um, you know I'm, I'm guessing that the orange dream pied will uh, sire that and I'm hoping to hit in super orange dream leopard pied um, but, you know, if we get lucky and the Killer Highway Pie takes that clutch, then that'd be nice. Uh, either way, it's still going to still gonna be, a, you know, a nice clutch. Super Orange Dreams, you're awesome. So, I really think this one, I think this one has a good possibility of being a Super Orange Dream Pie. So, alright, all in all, good clutch. I hope you guys are having a great season. Um, I'm going to put these guys back in the incubator and let them finish incubating. Uh, we have 19 clutches so far for the year. I'm going to have probably, about, I think, about 16 more clutches should be coming for the year. Uh, maybe 17 or 18 if I get lucky and have a couple of these other girls uh, ovulate and go late. Um, but it looks like I'm going to be, I'm going to be dealing with uh, hatching babies through into November. So um, stay tuned for more eggs. Uh, being cut, more clutches, and more babies, and we have babies everywhere this year. So, all right, guys, hope you guys are having a good season, and peace out.